Welcome back everyone. Chris, if you were in space, what do you eat? I, um, toothpaste food. Toothpaste food. I assume by that you mean freeze dried food. Yes. Like Spaceman, Did ice we, cream bars. Have you seen Rocket Man? Yes. When he like paints the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the thing on the ceiling with all their food. Yeah. That's not exactly how this, the space food works, but yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, normally it's like dried, like, uh, you know, have you ever been to like the NASA center, to like the Johnson Space Center, mm -hmm. and they have like the freeze dried ice cream bars and like the freeze dried, that's like, stuff like that. Uh, well now, they can eat lettuce that they grow in space. So, um, they reported that they grew some lettuce, sent it down to Earth to test it, grew some more lettuce, and they ate it in space. They had to like harvest it and stuff and uh, it was probably just got a really long comment or something on a meerkat. Ooh. Um, it was, yeah, it was pretty cool. They ate, they ate the lettuce in space. So now if you're in space, you can have rabbit food. They're still alive. They're still kicking. They're floating around. They were so nice they even saved some for the guys that were out doing a spacewalk at the time. Save some lettuce for them, and uh, yeah, they all ate the lettuce, and they said it tasted good, and that it tasted like normal lettuce would taste. It looked funny on the camera because they had like some weird lighting on it, but once they took it out of the area it was growing, it looked just like normal lettuce. So now, if we could just find a way to like raise animals in space, so we could have meat, then we could get somewhere. Be a cool idea. Because you're not gonna make it very far on the lettuce. Beef jerky. Yeah, we have to pack a lot of beef jerky. The problem is like, it takes a while to get to like even Mars. So if you're gonna take food, that's a lot of extra fuel. So if you could grow it in space, it'd be a lot lighter. True. So we gotta figure out how to do that. And then we can launch people up to the space station. They can get all their produce and their animals and then fly to Mars. I'm surprised they haven't started growing stuff on Mars or like giving the robots a certain thing to see if something well, like, grows. The, I don't think the atmosphere is right to support things that grow on Earth. So you'd have to like terraform the planet, which isn't really a thing we can do yet. Or like build like a huge greenhouse that has a very controlled climate. That was an interstellar. Yes. You did that in interstellar. Yes, that was a good movie. Yeah, it was. That was a great movie. Yeah. Rachel won't watch it with me. What? I mean, no reason. She just never wants to watch the movie because it's so long. It's only two and a half hours. Yeah, it's a long time to watch a movie about time and space and continuums. True. I mean, if you're not into that kind of thing, but she is not. You know what she is into, though? What's that? Cell phones. What about cell phones? You know what she's not into, though? What's that? Charging her cell phone. <laughs> uh, she charges her phone a lot. So, uh, remember uh, a few weeks ago we talked about the Kickstarter for his naps and how we were like, yeah, they were already funded, they're going to do great. Well, they have about 40 hours left at the time of recording and they have like, what I say, 2.75 million yeah. or something like that. They're really close to 3 million. So, uh, that's going to be a cool product. It's like $9 and basically is magnetic charging for uh, your phone. I checked it out Friday and they were at about 2.5. Four. Yeah. Uh, no, two point, about 2.0. We've been watching this million. Kickstarter on the Weekly Flare because we both really like the idea. Uh, but we both kind of want to support it after it's into production. Yeah. So hopefully they sell it after the Kickstarter's done because I would like to buy it from them. Yes. But uh, And they got certified too. I imagine they will since they got enough to get all the way up to the Apple MFI. Is that Apple certification, yes. MFI? MFI is the Apple That's certification. That's Apple's. So, uh, yeah, I would like to buy it once. It's like an actual product. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Um, I charge my phone a decent amount, but she's constantly plugging hers in to charge it. Um, mostly because she uses it all day for work. So yeah. like, you know, understandable. It's not like her battery just is terrible. It's just she uses it all the time. Uh -huh. So yeah, that'd be cool. So the Snaps is still around. They're done on Friday. So by the time you're hearing this, it's almost going to be over. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's probably already over. Go support it. But you should go check it out because it's pretty sweet. Um, I was trying to make a good segue from pretty sweet. Oh, uh, you know what's pretty sweet? What's that? Alphabet soup. 
That was awful. I know, it would have been better <laughs> if I said it the first time. But I was about to say, you know what else is pretty sweet, but then I couldn't think of a good segue. But now I just ruined it. Anyways, so you hear about Google? Yes. Yes, because I told you. Yes, you told me before. So Google is now owned by Alphabet. You know who Alphabet is? I don't. It's Google. So Google bought Google. No, so uh, the the founders of, of Google, Larry Page and Sergey, what's Sergey's name, something. They made Alphabet and they basically now own Google as its own company and then all their other things that they do as their own companies. Um, basically, they were like, they wrote a blog post about it, and like, you know, we first wrote about Google going public or whatever, whenever it was like 11 years ago or whatever. We always wanted to be a company that was like taking risks and trying new things and not, you know, becoming stagnant, basically. They did a pretty good job of that. Oh, yeah. went from Google search to Google Maps, when they bought YouTube, uh, you know, Google Earth, they have the self-driving cars, they have Chrome, they have Android, they have all their life sciences. Uh, they're doing a lot of stuff that was all under Google search yeah. engine. And, and plus, people are creatures of habit. Mm -hmm. And they will constantly, even when Bing popped up, mm -hmm. I will still, regardless, use Google. Right, you like go to Bing and just to like search for Google. Like, really? That's probably the most hits Bing gets is yes. for Google. Just because Google was there first and they got it figured out well. Um, so now they said like basically the only change is like they are Alphabet and they said they liked Alphabet which everyone else has been like Alphabet that's a weird name to pick. They couldn't get the Twitter handle for Alphabet because some guy in Cleveland has it. They can't get Alphabet.com because someone else has that. So the website's abc.xyz which is pretty creative. Yeah. They can't offer these people money to take it? I, I have a feeling that they'll buy the Twitter handle for sure. The, the website might be a little more tricky depending on if it's like a business or something oh. that has it. But um, they said they went with Alphabet because Alphabet is what makes up the language and that's how we communicate. And uh, that's why they said, who knows? Maybe they just thought it was funny. Who knows why they really did. Mm -hmm. But um, basically they own Google as its own company with its own CEO. And then like the other divisions will also have their own CEO that's going to run those things. So like Life Sciences will be its own company now. And like I guess the self-driving car and those technologies will be their own company now. Um, it sounded like Chrome and like YouTube and Gmail and all that's in standard Google. So... What do you think? When is numbers coming to play? Numbers. That's that's interesting. That's gonna be their next company they make. I really hope they do, and I really hope the count runs it. One. Ah ah ah. Um. No. So they said mostly it was just like for better organization and accountability, and basically they will be there for anyone that they need help and to manage the funds, make sure everyone's doing their job. Um, and because, like I said, all these things are being run by Google, the search engine company. And this way it'll just be a little bit better. They said they don't want to become stagnant. So this way they'll have more opportunities for growth because now Alphabet can do whatever. And they just happen to own Google. This is a company I'd like to work for. They're a pretty crazy company. They're definitely pretty interesting. So, yeah, they're pretty cool. Pretty cool. Chris, what would you want to talk about? The drone. Drone. There's a video. It's about, uh, what, a minute and a half? Yeah, it's pretty short. It was on a pier in San Diego. And, uh, wow. I just had a blank stare. Ooh. Yeah, there's anyway, a guy fishing. The guy fishing. Or there's a bunch of people fishing out on the oh, pier. Yeah. And this guy, I don't know who's controlling this drone, but it's about uh, 200, 300 feet off the shore, I would say. Yeah, there's just this drone yeah. flying around taking pictures. And taking videos and taking pictures. and. Well, I guess it was taking like, video. Yeah, it, it's, on video, but. it's like really frustrating these people out there that are fishing and trying to have a good time. So this guy is like keeps on staring at it. Next thing I know, he like pulls in his his line and he just like casts. The first cast he does lands right he on the drone, the drone and it gets spun up in there. And the next thing you know, the drone spins up and goes farther up to kind of see if he can break the line or get away. And top this guy flying the drone. Yeah, this Don't guy fished a drone out of the sky. He lassoed it. He could I, be a cowboy. Yes. Honestly, I'm on the side of the fisherman. Dude, like, 
you know, I like drones. They're pretty cool. But, like, the guys are just trying to fish. Yeah. Like, my guess would be that the fishermen probably felt like it was disturbing the fish. Probably. It's probably really loud. That's my guess. That's probably my guess as to why they were mostly frustrated. Also, it's probably hard to relax with that drone flying around. So he just fished it right out of the sky. Yeah. It was crazy. It was a nice drone, too. Yeah. Probably a good $1,000 or more. Yeah, it was uh, pretty crazy, this guy. I bet he was pretty proud of himself. I would have been. For fishing that right out of the sky. So yeah. if you haven't seen the video, you need to check it out. Because it's really funny. Yeah. Uh, I've seen it a few places online in the last day or so. Just I saw it on Facebook right before the show. It's really funny. I'm glad you brought it up because I would have totally forgot to talk about yeah. it. You know why I would have forgot? Because Windows 10 still won't let me connect <laughs> to the Wi-Fi. Oh my gosh. But... You know what else Windows 10 won't do? What's that? It won't let you play DVDs. Are you serious? I am serious, kind of. So, okay. if you have a computer that has Windows 10 on it, and you have a DVD drive, and you put a DVD in, and close the drive, it'll be like, can't read this disc. And then, it'll send you to the App Store, or the Windows Store, whatever they're calling it, and you can pay $15 for the DVD program, to play DVDs. Wow. But there's good news. What's that? You can also go to that same Microsoft store and get VLC player for free. What is VLC? It's a video player. Okay. And it'll play DVDs for free. Awesome. When we update my computer, I'm going to do when everything straightens out. The my... Wi-Fi thing, I think, is specific to my card. Okay. Because I've been looking around, and I haven't really been able to find this as an issue since the actual launch. It was an issue at the beta, but the issue sounded like that it was a driver issue as well, all the people who had it. So I think it's specific to my card, okay. which is an Intel Centrino N1000. So your computer's a bit newer than mine, right? Yeah, the Toshiba. But my, so, C, my C drive hasn't worked in a couple of years. What? Your C drive doesn't work? Yeah. What do you do? Nothing. How do you turn it on? It's my C drive. No, it's a DVD drive. Oh, okay. CD and DVD drive. drive. Yeah, my disk drive, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like your hard drive. I was like, what? Okay. Your CD drive. My CD on. drive, sorry. That's fine. We don't need it to install Windows. Okay. I can do it without it. Okay, but when I put 10 on there, it should redo that whole... Well, it depends drive. on why your drive, why the CD drive doesn't work. Okay. Is that like it won't eject? That it won't like open it, or like it won't read disk? It won't read. It won't. It won't say anything in there. Hmm. Interesting. So, well, we can take we'll a look at it. it. But yeah. So if you have Windows 10 and you're trying to watch DVDs, don't give Microsoft your fifteen dollars. Just go get VLC player. Or wait until it's all fixed. I'm surprised it's taking them this long. Well, that's fixed. not a fix. That's like that's how they want you to play DVDs. Apparently, uh. that's apparently how they want you to play DVDs. Is giving them fifteen dollars. No. You said Windows 10 was free. Don't take away functionality. Yes. So just go get VLC. Otherwise, Windows 10 is running really well on my laptop, other than the Wi-Fi issue. Good. My desktop, um, I think it's working fine now, so we'll see. All right, cool. We'll see how that goes. But, yeah, that's Windows 10. Chris. Do you have anything to talk about this week? I don't. I think we plugged the Anything open. going on this weekend you want to plug? No, nothing this no. week. Anything going on in your life that you want to plug? Uh, what I will plug in going in my life will be for Patreon users only. For Patreon users only, Chris has a special story. Yes. So if you really want to know, I guess you'll have to go check out Patreon when we're done. James hasn't heard the full story, he just heard what happened. Yes, so I'm excited to hear the whole story. All I want to plug is the weekly flare because we think we're pretty cool i've heard some pretty good feedback from people that listen to it um so if you have any feedback go to itunes or stitcher or wherever you listen to this and give us a review some stars tell us what you like um if you want tell us what you don't like i guess and we can work on that as well if you think our faces look terrible on the cameras well, just listen to us. If you think our voices sound terrible, sorry. Yeah, you gotta listen to somehow. We could auto-tune it with that. Chris! 
I had a sandwich. T-Pain. Uh, yeah, the T-Pain effect. I listened to a podcast about autotune today. Oh, That's gosh. why it was on my mind. It was from How Stuff Works, which is a pretty great podcast you should also go check out. Tell them I sent you. They won't know who I am, but tell them anyways. Um, otherwise, Chris, how can we just keep up with you online if we'd like? Twitter. Twitter! It's never lose heart, all one word. Never so that's about heart. it. Is that because you've never lost your heart, or you don't want people to lose their hearts? People. Or is it because you care about heart transplants? I'm going to tweet that. Interesting. I, I, I care about heart transplants. Never lose those hearts, because people need them. Yes. Yes. If you want to keep up with me, of course, you can go to twitter.com, and I'm at James Walter. You can also find the Weekly Flare at the Weekly Flare on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and we're on YouTube at the Weekly Flare Podcast. Chris, what do you say we end this video okay. and end this podcast and end our live stream and go record your hilarious story? Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in seven days. Peace.